if you manage to leverage your experience and channel it into the right partners and the right people, uh, you'll have much better odds at being successful at different things in different places. What's the problem you're trying to solve with the Ultra platform? How is it different from a super app? An Ultra platform essentially is meant to resolve for a lot of the app fatigue that users have been uh, developing over the past decade of app development. Uh, we feel that there had been too many uh, apps that users are meant to uh, are being asked to download and use on a regular basis. And an Ultra platform is a place where we can manage multiple use cases within the same platform. Uh, the main difference between an ultra platform and a super platform is mostly scale and usability. Uh, within super platforms, we've historically seen that the base use case is one that is service-based, and usually that reflects badly on uh, the financial model and unit economics of that business. While within an ultra platform, we're trying to base our platform on top of communications, which is more of a healthier use case and a more frequent use case for users. What prompted the acquisitions of Botim, Rezac, and Payby? How do you align your overall strategy? Good. So I think uh, putting together an ultra platform requires uh, very specific components uh, to make that happen. Uh, Botim comes in as our communications engine, and it's an extreme frequent use case for users. I, we believe that the base use case of handhelds and mobile phones is communications, and that's why we believe we need to be very present within the comms uh, space. Bottom represents the biggest uh, VoIP and IM platform in this part of the world, and this is where it became integral to our plan. The second component of Ultra Platform is a financial engine that can sit beyond uh, the communications platform, and this is where PayBuy comes in. Uh, PayBuy gives us the capability to give our users use cases such as payments and remittances and cards and what have you. And with Rizik and our other platforms, we mainly focus on what we can provide in terms of e-commerce and services. So we do believe that putting the three together uh, will enable a holistic ecosystem of what we call an ultra platform. Tell us about Botem's Arabic GPT. You know, what are the capabilities? So we've, we've, we've launched Botem's GPT just recently, and we're extremely excited about it. We do believe that the open AI consumer applications will change the way technology is working right now. Uh, I do, we do believe that within the next few years, most of the existing platforms will not be used the same way they are being used today. And this is where our initiative of launching GPT came in. We do want to provide our users with consumable AI at their fingertips and then being able to leverage the power of quantum computing and AI put together within bottom on chat bases. This will open a plethora of use cases for users that have never been tapped into before, such as being able to text into execution, which sounds fancy, but it's a simple way of saying you will be able to text into a chat to book a ticket instead of having to visit a website and put in your credit card and talk to a travel agent and so on and so forth. Amid all the technological disruptions, how do you ensure you have a human-based approach in your venture? So with, within Astra, we are a user or a consumer uh, technology uh, company, and humans are at the center of everything that we offer. We have a, you know, a, a user obsession uh, mentality within what we try and do. So everything we are doing and everything we are building is meant to make people's lives easier, is meant to make our users use technology in a much better way and have a much better experience with technology than they've historically have had to. Technology is advancing at a very rapid pace that is really uh, putting a lot of things into perspective or out of perspective, depending on which end of the spectrum you're standing on. But with Astra, we do internally try and maintain the highest caliber of people who can uh, harness the, those new technologies to our users' benefit. But in order for us to be able to do that, we need to always keep an obsession with our users, their needs, and how we can make their lives better and more comfortable. So human centricity is at the core of everything we're trying to build and develop within the business. As a serial entrepreneur, what is your secret to managing different ventures? 
I don't think there's a, a lot of a secret to, to managing different ventures. I think uh, human capability, I, I, I do at least understand that human capability is very limited and my own personal intellect and ability uh, to manage different things at different times is extremely limited. Uh, but what happens is that if you manage to leverage your experience and channel it into the right partners and the right people, uh, you'll have much better odds at being successful at different things in different places. And this is uh, what we try and do here. We try and bring in the best of the best of people to manage extremely complex problem statements and empower them as much as possible uh, to be able to, that, to take that forward.